Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation of our group PLO500 research methodology. And in order to achieve the sustainable development goals, which is SDGs, our group chose the pop day topic as our group task. And our um, title of research is Stay on the long term poverty, elevation mechanism in the post poultry elevation arrow. And the post poultry poverty elevation arrow, this is a new definition word here. And we have discussed this word in our group for uh, a very long time. And we agreed on a a certain thought that the post poverty elevation arrow is a is the time that China has now been getting through. We have achieved some achievements after doing work to prevent the poverty, and right now we have uh, continued to this um, program. We made a lot of progress. And achieve the uh, right now, the getting more close steps to the post poverty elevation arrow. And uh, next is our team members. We have five team members. We cooperate together, work well with each other to achieve this task. We divided our uh, group work into seven parts. The first one is abstract. Next, we have research background. The third one is research objective. The fourth one is literature review. And the fourth is about research method. Six, expected results. And the final, we introduce references. And now, let's continue to the first part, abstract. We introduce the definition of poverty according to our understanding. Poverty is a historical and a global problem. Eliminating poverty has always been the common goal and the good aspiration of all humanity. This paper analyzes the internal and external reasons of the return to poverty and establishes an effective basis for the return to poverty and the long-term poverty elevation of China provide an effective basis for sustainable development of the world. And we choose Chinese poverty as examples in our task. Our group members was really familiar with some examples and the true condition uh, in certain part of China. So we uh, think it may make our research more persuasive and it's really necessary to introduce the uh, real, real, uh, real example happens near to our life, close to our life. So uh, let's continue to the second part, research background. Minimum living allowance is a vital link for targeted poverty elevation, and it is also a minimum requirement to meet the basic survival and life of rural poor people. And the minimum living allowance is really common in China. In China, Chinese government give uh, the people who need help uh, amount of money each month to help them. These people may be. Uh, uh, the people who lack of uh, ability to make a living by themselves. And in my city, this amount is 800 yuan a month, um, per month. Per month. And uh, uh, the amount of money is different from city to city. And in some metropolitan or large city, it may be larger than 800 yuan a month. And in some uh, smaller city, it may be less than 800 yuan a month. And I just live a middle city in China, so oh, I introduce a condition uh, happens 
too near to my life. Uh, it's I know it is about eight hundred months, and um, but uh, the amount is developing all the time. It was. Uh, local economy development and local government ability assistance the power. Uh, there are many factors in can be have in uh, can have impact on this uh, minimum living allowance. So it is different from uh, different places and different time. Also. Uh, China should give full play to the rural minimum living security system to prevent the recurrence of large-scale poverty. Uh, the recurrence of large-scale poverty is that we have continued our uh, uh, poverty. Um, we have already said goodbye to poverty in some places in China, and after decades or after years, these places have. Again, to back to poverty, so the hard work we did before may have been wasted, or uh, with the development, these people, these places cannot continue their um their uh, against poverty mechanism. So this is what we want to display in the next part. Research object, research on the characteristics of post poverty alleviation era. We need to clear the main reasons poverty discriminates the role of internal and external mechanisms, establishing a long term mechanism for poverty alleviation. And then the fourth part is about literature review. And we have divided our task into four parts. Uh, the first part. Is related research on root causes of poverty, the related research on returning to poverty, the fixed concept, and low subjective status perception. And the next we want to introduce is the uh, related research of Harvey Lipstein, 1956. And he want to introduce that a uh, pe- uh, place can. Develop ensure high enough investment rate to increase the per capita income of developing countries. They want to, uh, that means, uh, they want to get money from the rich people and that the rich people to assist the people who live under average income level. The people who can make rich investment must be the rich people. And uh, the people who live uh, have lower income, uh, which is uh, lower than the average income level, who is the people mm, need help. And the government want to uh, let the rich help the poor to improve the average income level. And uh, next is the Rogner Norsey research in 1966 analyzed the essential causes of poverty in the developing countries and put forward important methods to overcome poverty. And the next, the related, related research on returning to poverty, that is the recurrence of poverty we mentioned before in the uh, in the PPT before, and in the 1970s, scholars began to use the method of quantitative analysis to study the relationship between minimum living security system and poverty. The minimum security system of rural areas reduces poverty well, but the phenomenon poverty again has appeared. So the, we need to establish a mechanism, it is really necessary. From the perception of acquisition of poverty alleviation subject, we can simply explain the reasons for a problem of return to poverty. And the next part is fixed concept. The self-development of China's poor people is mainly limited to the inherent concepts brought by their environment as the inherent concepts may come from their parents or their grandparents. 
So this concept is really rooted deeply in their heart. They lack of indulgence motivation. They just stay there and wait, wait for the rich people to help them, wait for the uh, society to give them money to for donation for them. And they lose the uh, deeper motivation of, from their inner heart. They do not want to work hard and improve their livings. They lack of the ability to think, to work hard, to, to change the life they have. So this is most um, serious problem. And next part is the lowest subject status perception. As the main body of all ground development of human beings, if we ignore the dominant position of the poor people, it is not sustainable to seek the governance mechanism of returning to poverty only based on the object dimension. So, the most important part is human beings, and they are, the, they are in the center of the problem. The human beings are the center of the problem to improve poverty, to adjust poverty, to correct the poverty condition. So what the government need to do is change human behaviors, to change human thoughts, to change human human behaviors. That is because they are in they are the dominant position of the problem. And the, Next part is our research method. Let's introduce the method we have here. We have we have used collecting and sorting out relevant papers, periodical magazines, and etc. This paper will respectively analyze the related concepts and reasons of poverty, poverty evasion, and how to prevent the problem of returning to poverty. And we take a place in Xianyang city in Shanxi province as an example. And this place is uh, our work, our group member is really familiar to these places uh, and know a lot about the, uh, know about, about them. And uh, so we take this place as an example. Uh, the paper uses household survey and interview method to collect data, analyze the problems and reasons existing in the implementation of current rural minimum living security in this place in order to prevent the occurrence of poverty. And in the sixth part, we introduce the expected results. The topic of great practical significance to the sustainable development goal of eliminating all forms of poverty by 2030. The establishment of long term poverty elevation model in rural areas. Our paper also have a high authenticity and reference value by interviewing the poor poverty elevation subjects and collect first hand data. We do not use second hand data because we think uh, first-hand data is more uh, get close to the real condition, the real society, and can be more persuasive and necessary if we use second-hand data. Uh, some problems may not be solved so well. And these are the, uh, are the literature review we have. We have read some uh, famous uh, articles like access to the market and the rural poverty, and the series uh, of the low level equilibrium trap in underdeveloped economy. And this uh, low level equilibrium trap uh, maybe is, uh, is about uh, the subject we introduced before by improving the investment rate of local place to improve the average income uh, in, of the certain place, that is to let the poor people get help from the rich people and make the society uh, improve the average, uh, average income level. So 
uh, this is all of our presentation of our uh, study on long-term poverty elevation mechanism in the post-poverty elevation era. Thank you.